Hi, everybody. Welcome back. We're at the Knitters League. It's episode 43, and I'm Lori. I'm Sophia. I'm Elisa. And I'm Julie. And it's been a while since we've been together. So this is really, really a minor miracle. And <laughs> <laughs> that's not even a joke. <laughs> yeah, no, not. Um, so anyway, so welcome back to our knitting show. Good. Thank okay. you for watching. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm hoping people are excited that we might be back. It's been a long time. I almost wondered if we were a group anymore. Yeah. <laughs> people still well, I think we're a group. We still got together and knit and we're still chatting, but are we a podcasting group? We are. This is COVID has been really messing everything up. Really well, and then up. school starting. It's not, it's, it's not easy. No. Yeah. No, no. We could talk about school later, but I'm going to tell you that is making my life fall apart a bit. So it's like crazy times again, but in a different way. So, yes. yeah. So what's everyone been up to as far as knitting? I haven't been knitting. I'll, I'm going to show you guys. I don't know if we're going to jump right into that, but, uh, well, do you want to, okay, well, let's, I'm let's ready start. to show you some things. <laughs> Okay, well, let's talk about FOs. All right. I have one. Okay. I have one, actually. I okay. do have one. Yeah, no, don't go crazy. When you see, you'll be like, okay, yeah, but you'll see. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> FO is an FO, so that's great. That's right. Okay, so do I, who's going to start? Lisa? I can. Sure. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's already known what it is. I'm holding, scooching back a little bit here. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's my rocket tee. It's awesome. I've worn it. I finished it and worn it. Worn it? Is that? You rocked it. You rocked wore it. Um, the rocket tee. I love that, Lori. <laughs> you know what consensus is, is? See how beautiful it is with this camera. Yeah, know? I know. Because we all got to see it in person. Yes. Um, but it's um, consensus, and at least my consensus is, is that the mohair is warm. Like if it's a muggy day, it's hard to wear, but um, it smells really good. That would have been perfect for today. Well, part of today, like earlier in the day, but then it got hotter later in the day. And I was like hot, but, but yeah, so cold. there we go. All right, I love that. That is my only FO, but I mean, come on. Come on. I finished it before the end of summer, so that was my goal. Right, and you've been, and you've been knitting. You've been I have been knitting for the past six months, right? What's that? You, you've done the most knitting, I think. I agree. Potentially. Oh. Yeah. Wait till you see. Wait, well, yeah, okay. Anyway, yeah, that's my only FO. Can I ask a question? Do you have to wear a undershirt underneath that? Is it see -through? Um, It depends. I mean, I didn't. Sexy? I just... <laughs> Well, I mean, I, you know, you, like if you wear like a pretty a bralette thing. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't have a problem with it personally. Um, oh, and then just to reiterate, um, the, the yarn. So it's the rocket tee by Tannis fiber arts and the um, mohair is Pearl Soho, um, in flax, the, their mohair, um, the colorway is flax. And then the, the fingering is giggling gecko. Um, I want to say to booty is the, weight i can't remember the um yarn composition but it is an purple craze so awesome i think my opinion on what you have to wear under that like i think like yes you can you can if you're careful at with which type of like bra or kind of sporty bra you wear under it it Oh, it's acceptable. I mean, I think it's acceptable. Like, are you wearing it to work acceptable? No, 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 no. Like, I would like never, I mean, for that. Like, I, absolutely. I agree. I wouldn't wear that without a cami under it to work. No. I will no. I think even for me as a, just outside of work, I would still wear a cami. Just like, it's, it's a little too, like, I'm a little too old. It's a little breezy. That. It's breezy. Yeah. I don't think yeah. I'm comfortable without. Yeah. No, I'm I don't think you're it, too but, old, but it is breezy. It does look breezy. Yeah. yeah. But I was so. going to say she could wear it like that at home for work. I mean, for work because she's at home. <laughs> mm -hmm. True. But no, and but I, don't, I don't do like Elisa meetings. Wore, but when Elisa wore it, it didn't look like, oh, 
I mean, I think it was a dark, you were a dark brown when I saw you. My, I would have personally picked a lighter color, but, but it wasn't like, oh, what's going on there? You know what I mean? It wasn't exactly that. So, so it, it's it is, good. Except, Lori would have told you if there was something going oh, on there. Yeah. But, yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. It almost actually kind of, you can kind of have fun with making a contrast under too. That's right. Like that's, you thing. know. Good point. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's so. All right. Awesome. Anybody else? Julie? Julie? For me to go? Okay. I have. Not, I, I have five. Really about this. This has been finished for a while, but I don't think I even mentioned this in the last podcast. The Felix pullover. Yes. I don't think you mentioned it in the last one either. Oh. I was going to wear it, but like Elisa said, it got a little too hot. Mm -hmm. So I love that. Yeah. So this is, that by? this is by Amy Christoffers and I used O Wool classic worsted, which is really Aaron. Oh dear. But anyway, this is the best part, right? I love the that. For the raglan sleeves. That's mm, yeah. where like, I'll wear like white under this just so this kind of pops. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's really cool. I love that. Yeah, I like that detail. basic sweater, but just has that awesome detail here. And this is a so, knit. Does that call for Erin or does it call no, for? It does. It does. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, like on my project page, if you click on the O wool, it says Erin, but then the tag says O wool classic worsted. Why can't we? Wait, so wait, let me clarify. You feel like the classic wool, oh, wool worsted is really an Aaron? Well, not or, only that, like, it says it on, like I said, on her, like on Ravel, in Ravelry, it comes up Aaron weight for this. Oh, it's categorized that way. Yes. Yeah. Right. Even though it's mm -hmm. labeled worsted, it's technically an Aaron. Does the sweater technically call for Aaron or technically call for worsted? Aaron. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You. So, yeah. So, and this is um, the color begonia. It's a good like, color for you. Beautiful. And this is what I got. I don't know if you remember, I bought it during the quarantine. Remember, it was like early on. Oh, I do. I think I it was during, days. was it during Marilyn Sheep and Wool? And yeah. they, she offered the free shipping. Yep. Yeah, we all bought yarn. We're like, we're making something. I didn't make what yeah. I said. I was, I was good. I didn't buy yarn then. I, I did the uh, Isabel Kramer. I was going to say Oh, right. Like always, I have one skein left over. <laughs> you know how that always happens? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I do. Um, yeah, that's all I have for FO. Awesome. Hey, you have got, you've got something, right? I have something. Am I the I next one? I don't have so an FO. I have, I have one FO. And this is why, I, I, and this is the only reason why, it's because it's this little. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> I love it. I can only finish things that fit in my hand. Um, <laughs> you came yeah, I'm going to, yeah, I did the X and O's. Oh, um, so cute. Came out so good. this came is out really the Milo, good. the Milo little vest. And I'm going to a baby shower tomorrow. So this is for my, one of my coworkers, Christine at work. She's having a little girl and I managed to do this. This is my only winning. I'm proud. You're winning, so, winning. Yeah. Yarn is so, that? This was Elisa, Elisa gave it to me because I was looking for, I wanted like a purple and I needed a super, I wanted a super wash. I always feel like I want to give someone a super wash because you never know what, what they're capable of doing or what they want to do. So and it needed DK and I didn't have anything. I was always, and I was a little short on some of the ones that I did have. Lisa, do you remember the name of it? It is Madeline Tosh. The one I used with my um, Soldatna. Um, uh, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Purple Magic. Talking about it. I don't know what it's called. I'm just saying <laughs> it's Purple Magic. Um, but I love how, look how well it yeah, it I was say, That came out great. So really pretty. like the it color. variegates really nice so yeah. anyway i was really excited it's just adorable and i bought this little onesie this little yellow onesie with like pink and purple flowers and little um 
uh, little like denim, like they're not really denim, like leggings with ruffles on the butt. Just because it was hard to find clothes for baby, they um to go with it. So, but anyway, I'm really beautiful excited. liar. Oh, so yeah, I was lying. It's not purple magic. It's does she know liar. you um were knitting her something, the baby something? No, no, no. I got her some she other things, like some other shower gift items. It's, but no, she doesn't know. I always like to make baby stuff is easy. You know, it's like fast and it's satisfying and so darn cute. It's really it is. And that pattern in particular is super fun. I love that. I, I think love we've all made life. it. Haven't we all made it? I've made mm -hmm. it. I've made it. I've made it a couple times. Yep, I've made it five times. I made it wow. for the triplet, my, my cousin's daughter in Spain, and this one. It's your go-to, I think, for like baby gift. You know why? Because when you're putting a sweater on a, who really, putting a sweater on a baby, a little baby, is not mm. a go. But this is great because it's really a body warmer and their arms are still kind of like free, you know, comfortable and free. And then you can kind yeah. of have, you know, I just think it's a smart, a smart knit for a baby. And you're not locked in with size. Like that is a nice, flexible, can, you know, grow with the baby kind of outfit or vest. Yeah. And you, which size did you do again? I did the three months because her ba she's going to be born in December. And I thought if she fits into this, like by February, let's say if she's a small baby or March, it'll still, it'll be good. Maybe even April. But then if not, I have to make like close to a year or, mm. you know, yeah. and then just, I mean, there's nothing ugly about bigger, but it's just cuter. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Smaller. Yeah. Yeah. So I just want to make it smaller and, you know, something she could wear this winter. You know, I kind of think of like the first winter, not like the next winter. My dog, if, I'm sorry for all the noise, but my dog is trying to get in here. If you hear, like, if you hear, like, snorty under the door, she's trying, I'm not letting her in, so. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I'm not doing the same. Okay, okay. So, that's well, it. I think, I think what's really great about that pattern is it gives you three choices for the cable. Doesn't know, it gives more. you more. more. More? I can't yeah. remember, it's been a while since I made it. Wait, There's like, did you say what it was? The Milo. Milo. And um, I don't, I forget who makes, oh wait, hold on. I know Is it Tim Can? No, it's not. No. I know you can do but little apples, you can do the X's and O's, you can do a traditional cable. You yep. can do hearts. Oh yeah. Do, uh, there's a couple diff. they're like circles, aren't there like? Well, there's the X, so there's the hugs and kisses, which is this one. There are hearts. There are the owls. Oh. There's the there's the twist cable. There's also the braid. Like there's like a three little. I think I did the braid. And there's also I think. And then I think there's three little braids. Oh, okay. I think there's like seven. I think there's seven. I haven't looked at it in ages, but it's just awesome how it's such a great functional pattern, and they give you so many great choices. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. So. So anyway, and I have a little bit of good news. What? I found these. I found these. This Wait, I didn't know you lost them. I didn't know you lost them. I didn't know you lost them. But I do have a surprise. I do have a surprise. Not for, okay. it's for Julie. It's a surprise for Julie. Oh, you must like me best. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> surprise for Julie. Hopefully it's not, it's, it's, it's a good surprise. Do you want to know it? Yes. Oh, I feel right like now? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm gonna tell you right now, but I'm gonna first show you what I'm gonna show you an image, and maybe Julie can guess. Can you see this? No way. Yes. It's in. I bought two ten packs of Surrey silk. Woo! So I got you one. Awesome. Julie's wow. been wanting, me and Julie have been thinking about. Well, Julie's been dying some stuff. I don't let Julie talk about that, but. She's been dying to get her hands on Surrey Silk and uh, Wool to Die For has been like out of stock on everything. And she's been keeping her eye on it. And I've been keeping my eye on it. So I bought oh, two. To die. To yeah. die. Yeah. So it's just, it's, yeah, it's dyeable Surrey Silk. So I bought two 10 packs of, Whoa. so, so we have 20 skeins of Surrey Silk. Okay. Uh, do you have dye, Lori? I haven't, uh, well... <laughs> 
no, I don't. I don't have dye. That was on my list of things to do this summer, which didn't get well, far. But, the yarn off the but you don't have everything else. Yeah, yeah, I have everything else. I just have to do that. But um, I'll get to it yeah. either way. Or I'll give it to all, all of it to you. I know you've been trying. It, that stuff has been like crazy. I was shocked I even got it. Yeah, we, so. were, we started thinking about that in June, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. Yeah. So maybe we can have, now we can have Surrey Silk for our anything. Right. You know, if we have a project, we want the Surrey Silk, because that's so, that's really Nothing. what people want. Like, that's what they're using right now for their mohair all the time, it feels like. So anyway, so just an idea. Yeah. So was that anticlimactic? Was that a little anticlimactic? The surprise was it supposed to be? No, it's like, awesome. I'm excited. But for the rest, of, like for Sophia and Elisa, where they're like, "Oh, yarn, that's it." Yeah. No, well, I mean, it's it, was cool. for it was a Julie surprise. It was a Julie surprise. <laughs> it was. I don't have any. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not very. Um, I'm not very interesting these days. So. No, um, don't say that. Oh my god. <laughs> it's true. Well, so what's up? What up with everybody? Oh, Anybody I'll any acquisitions? I have some acquisitions. I have some acquisitions. Okay, so Julie, do you have acquisitions? What are you segueing into? What do you have I'll there? I'll just say, since you said you got the yarn to dye, <laughs> I was going to say, here's some yarn that I already did dye. So is this now? Is this yarn from your sheep also? Yeah. So I think I've showed in the past. I got a bunch of um, of my sheep's fleece. I got the yarn back from the mill, and our friend Carrie, she had some um, from Iris Creek Farm. She had some indigo that she um, wasn't using, and she knows I have been wanting to do natural dyeing. She does acid dyeing. She uses greener shades for her yarn. So she gave me some indigo, and I tried it out. It looks beautiful. So I did this. I This was on the, um, you know, natural. <laughs> and then I actually over-dyed over the gray that I had from... Um, or gray sheep. So, which came out, I don't have it with me, but it's just like a little purpley. It's cool. And you, and you, that <laughs> yarn you have, you, when you send it to the mill, you have, that's a blend of your sheep. Yes. Wool with m merino. So this is um, a little bit, it's, I think it's something like 80% Lester long wool and fin. That's my, that's buttercup. And, um, so now I got to make sure I get it right. 15% merino and then 5% silk. Oh, right. You That's put why it looks so shiny. Yeah. It's glossy. So it's nice. I mean, it's still very rustic, but it's nice. And I actually, I'm start, I started a, um, I, I want to see how it works up. So I started this project. This is, obviously you can't really say what it is, but it's a cardigan. It's going to be the, the Shandy. Is that what it's called? Shandy by Thea Coleman. And I'll put a little picture on the screen of what that oh, will look like. But it has some cables. I thought cables would be nice. It but looks good so far. I thought you were making awesome. a blanket. Bottom up. Bottom up. Bottom it, up. It's actually really fun. It's really time consuming. You have to, with indigo, you have to do a lot of different dips. I wanted it dark, darker. And um, so, so did, did it come out the way you wanted it to, like the color? So it did, but one thing I knew, because I had bought indigo dyed yarn from Wing and a Prayer years ago, and um, it rubs off on your hands. And my goal was I didn't want mine, that to happen to me. So I did a lot of research, but it still, <laughs> it still happened. So I was actually gonna ask if any viewers have any tips on how to get indigo to, you know, Natural, natural tips yeah yeah i think there's got to be something out there i forgot what i did use i think i used vinegar afterwards to set it but i mean it just, usually vinegar, yeah, my did, hand, vinegar, did just they say hot. vinegar did they recommend vinegar afterwards to set it to make it color fast they recommended vinegar is what i'm asking yep. someone recommended vinegar yep oh my grandmother used to use vinegar to get stains out of things. When she quit, <laughs> like, I think it just changed whatever, the pH. So whatever the pH was of the vat, the indigo vat, 
then it's it works with maybe. that. Yeah. But I know, I think I could try citric acid too. If I haven't done that. Anyway, if anyone has any tips out there. That's cool. That's cool. And by the way, I can't wait to see in person. I think I use vinegar now. I'm not so sure. It was so <laughs> long ago. Well, but I don't know. I just know like my grandmother used oh, to. Yeah. For sure. It's a cleaner. I use it to, yeah. I use it in the laundry. Like if I used to wear, like I used to have this like bag from my mom and dad brought me back from some trip that they went on when I was in high school. And it was this like a Mayan kind of like weave and it had like this hot pink and I went to a concert and I was wearing a white shirt and it rained and it all bled on my shirt. And I was like, ah, and then my grandma from Spain, she's like, no problem. She doesn't talk like that. She didn't talk like that. But anyway, she threw it in a pot with vinegar and she's got every stain out. I don't know. Yeah. I thought she used vinegar. So well, yeah. Like white vinegar. Yeah. Or I don't, I don't remember. She just boiled it with, I think she boiled it. I, I, I don't know if you boiled it. She got, you, she used vinegar. I know that. Yep. So, but yeah. So I'm learning. I have a bunch of other dyes I want to use as well. That's exciting. That yeah. So that's it for that. What about anybody have any whips? Mm hmm. I have a, I have a new whip. I've got some whips. I mean, I have all the usual whips, the ones that I've talked about that I have done nothing right. to. I do. So I want to talk, can I, can I, may I go? <laughs> okay. So I have, um, I picked up my dad's sweater again. Remember, I don't know if, I, if you guys remember, but yes. I had put it down because I had a mistake and I couldn't process it and I got really upset and I just stopped. Okay. So I prematurely stopped. I prematurely stopped for no reason because I didn't have a huge mistake. And I was like, okay, let me read this again. But so anyway, I, so here it is. It's a, it's a cardigan and I've three needle did one shoulder. So one shoulder is done. Um, and I have to do the other shoulder. So it's not together. But so there is a problem on this side. I decreased too many times on the front and I'm keep looking at it. Like how far do I have to go back to fix my decrease problem? And I like, I, li I literally look at it and I'm like, God, I don't want to go back. Cause it's got a, like a pattern in there. And then I had to remember or figure out like where the pattern starts or whatever. So, but the good news is I know what I did. I know what I have to do. So. I guess my question is, do I just rip back until I realize, or do I kind of like stick the needle in there? How I, many are you shy? How many? Um, I need to have um, two more. So I really need to go down one, 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 <laughs> not one, because it, the I decreases stopped customer. and then I had to, it's not, it's not a couple of rows. You think I should make a couple? No, but yeah. How many stitches are you off? Is my question. Two. Two. Oh, stop! <laughs> I say make a couple. Make it up. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, Elisa. <laughs> or or do I do like when I close it together? Do I just instead of making a couple stitches, just just stitch two on the back with one on the front? Are you sure? Heck yeah. I think two okay. is hardly noticeable. Yeah. Two I, is, if you said five, I would be an advocate of. See? No one's that one done. All right. But anyway, so basically I was like, I have, yeah, you know, I, mean, I don't. I am an, I am all about fixing, but not this one. Yeah. Ooh. So, so bottom line is, is I picked it up again. Okay. And I'm happy. Um, so that's, that's my goal, but because I was like, kind of like stuck on that little part, like, what am I going to do? Or let me show you what I have been knitting on. Uh, uh, and then I'll tell you my problem. Yay. That's beautiful. What is that? It's my Rhinebeck sweater. Oh my God. Okay. I've gone back once already because uh, the stitches were, the count was off. I think I did uh, the increases in the wrong spot. And I noticed like something weird was happening on one side and I was like, ah, I don't know. And then I like made up for it. I just added an increase in one spot. 
and then I'm like about to um, split for see sleeves, and I look at it and I'm like, what the bleep? I know what I did, and I have to go back. I have to go back because you're one stitch off. No, well, I'm a couple stitches off, but I don't know if maybe I just miscounted. I um. I put the increase, you're not gonna be able to see, but I did, so this is like the, this is kind of like the raglan part, this part with the pearl and then the knitting again. The increase is supposed to be after these knits here. Yeah. But there's a couple parts where I did the increase before the knit and it's in the pearl. So like, it's just got this funky thing going on. I guess <laughs> we can't see. Yeah. No, it's not. It's not even about can't seeing. It's about I'm um, off. Oh, like well, take some in I the counted. Corner. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, that's me. You can hear I just, It's in the front. It's in the front. So if I have mm -hmm. to go back, I have to go all the way back here. Well. I that's when you need to do some um, magic drop just down there or something. Oh, no, no, no. I don't, I don't do that with increases. All right, you're that's... frogging it. Just rip the whole thing out. I was going to say frog it. No, I mean, or live no. with it. I mean, listen, okay. here's the thing. Here's the thing. When I noticed something was weird on one side, I was like, kept looking at it and looking at the other side. I'm like, is it going to bother me? And I decided to leave it. And I kept going in this out, you know, I'm like, yeah, I'm about to slip, split for sleeves. And then I looked at it again and I'm like, oh no, it's worse than I thought. So I think I have to go back. Good thing is, is I'm not no going to run back. Yeah. So, but I will tell you that knitting with this yarn is lovely. Oh. Also, yep. it smells good. So knitting with it is also fun because it smells good. And I do like this pattern, but it's a little, it's a little confusing, like just the way she has it. Like, okay. So for instance, normally when you have, and I'm, this is just me, 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 what I'm used to, the patterns I've done. Normally when you have a pattern where you're doing increases, it's like, you've got your markers there. The increases don't, it's like she has, or let me rephrase that. You have your front, your sleeves, and your back. So the front goes past the stitch marker, but there's no like, it's just, it's just a little confusing. Like, why can't you just put the stitch marker there or put two stitch markers to, to say, this is the beginning of round because it's not really the beginning of round because it goes three stitches past that stitch marker. So it's a little like, what pattern is funky that? to me? It's the Louvre, 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 the Louvre, wow, the Louvre. Oh, hold on. Is it the Louvre? <laughs> Not like the Louvre, like the bathroom? The Louvre, I think it is the museum. Yeah. So, um. It's pretty, I think the, it's pretty. Those twists. Well, I, I think it's a very pretty, pretty pattern, but it's just. It's just not written the way I'm used to. And I know that she's not English. It's not her first language. So I, I get it. And it's not, it's not. Didn't we meet her? No, that's not who, who, what? Who is this? I'm going to butcher that as well. Oh, it's not Thea Coleman. I was thinking we were talking about Thea. This is not Thea Coleman. No. Oh, why did I think you said it was Thea Coleman sweater? Okay. Okay. I just said it. was hard again. Yeah. Right. I know you did, but I she said too. Oh. I mean, it, I mean, it says, it says in the pattern that, you know, English is not my first language. Please forgive me. Whatever. Um, so it's not poorly written. It's just confusing to me, like how it's set up. So I kind of had to like almost reprogram my brain. Does that make sense? Yeah. But we should announce that we are not, we're not trying to make these Rhinebeck sweaters for this year anyway. Right. I just wanted to start it. So we're doing that next year. We're using. So I can stop is what you're saying? You can frog it and start over. Plus family yarn for next year. Yeah. Okay. So then the question is, in all honesty, 
I could probably semi live with it. But do I live with it? I'd have to see. I just go back. So you won't live with it. So yeah, you you we know you. You have time. So I had a. Mm. I started my sweater too. Remember, I was doing the intarsia. I was mm. doing the sleeves, and I've had a rip back too. So it just and makes me sad because I was really excited at how far I had gotten. I was like, oh, you know, I might have an fo, you know, sooner than I thought. Yeah. <sighs> but I feel you. Anyway, those are my whips mistakes in my whips all right so do we have are we done with our whips i have a whip i have a whip i have, I have, I have a sock whip. i've been working on from forever too i can show maybe yeah. i think i've shown it before oh sophia go oh really i've shown <laughs> it but i'm almost done and it's like oh i'm telling you i have um really been in a knitting rut but my coloring book yarns i love those i like those colors yeah i know they're like manly but not that i know i think i'm gonna give these to amir yeah those are awesome that's good I like them a lot this is a little pinky pink but i think it's totally manly oh yeah those are masculine and it's yeah. satisfying right to do those Yes, this um, has been just all I've been able to handle lately. I don't know why. I'm still in that knitting rut. I'm having a hard time, but these are just great. And this is Coloring Book Yarns Night Owl. I like it. I like Easy. And I actually, I don't remember, maybe I just have a bad memory, which could be true, but I don't remember seeing them before. Maybe there wasn't enough of like the different colors. Right? Yeah, maybe. You know what I mean? Started. I just want to hold them up because I feel like, yes, I have done something. So you also have a lot of coloring books well, before you, and you do sock a lot. So sometimes I'm like, did I see you buy the yarn or did yeah. I see the surprise? Like, and I, I'm, I have no memory anymore of anything. I feel like. See, that's what I'm tr trying to say. You know, I think it's, and it's, it's more memorable when we see each other in person and see. I would agree. There's a wow factor. I yeah. think mm -hmm. we see each other. And yeah. you can touch. Yes. And feel. And the color pops. Yeah, obviously, like, I couldn't tell that that was, like, pink. I thought that was cream. Yeah, same, same. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Sophia, what are you wearing around your neck? Because I know people are going to ask. Oh, the Alejandra shawl by Hohi. I think you guys haven't even seen this one in person. No, we that haven't. I don't think so. Fabulous. Oh, I love it. It's with the Pearl Soho. Mm -hmm. so it's nice good. so good Those colors it's cozy yeah and it's a, it's calls for dk weight but i held um two strands together yeah easy okay, okay thank you thank you all right Lori, what are you working on well i actually tried just i tried to do this on camping never didn't actually get anywhere but i did start my throat <gasps> did you get the colors? I mm. got the some colors, so. <gasps> Yay! This is the one that's going to have. So, so can you see that like, pink? It is, is pink. It, that's the one that's going to have pink and red in it. No, purple. Purple. Is see, that Julie's purple, right? The, but did she have this purple? And this is old walled. Are you saying, did she use this purple somehow? I think In she, that same sweater you just showed, Julie, right? No, that's that's begonia. Did you say right? Oh, that's okay. okay. Maybe it looks the same on camera. This is, yeah. This is this thistle. I think it's called thistle, okay. and I forget what this it looks one's darker. Called. Yeah, this is purple, and hers is more like oh, pink. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. But, I, it's hard to see okay. maybe from the camera. This is. This is oh, it does look the same, good. Sophia. It does. <laughs> so, I'm not crazy. Are, that's the same. I would say the same. Yeah. These are the three colors. And I forgot thistle, cotton tail, I think, and I forget what this one's Seriously, called. Seriously, hold up your sweater, Julie. Yep, let me get you it. You still have it. Yeah, it looks the same. <laughs> it, it, it does, but I, I mean, and I'm like trying to compare it. It's different lighting, different cameras, so it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah. Right. Is it this is different, one? right? This is called begonia. This is called thistle. Okay, all right. Well, but then it's different. Very similar, at least different. through this camera, these cameras. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's called thistle. 
I have it. I have that color for my Lune shawl. I bought that for my Lune shawl too. So I know that's why I remember, oh, I bought another thistle, uh, you know, because I have a good amount of wool, all wool. So, but yeah, I'm about, I'm just about to do the pattern. Yay. And, and yes, I, I can't wait to see in person. I know. Yeah. Really? And I'm really excited. It's a great red. And it's good so red. pretty. I love you that haven't, red. You haven't done red really. Is no. this your first red? Yeah, it is my first red. I don't have any red yarn. This is my own. This is my own red yarn. No, well, you've done, gotten red yarn for Tim's hats. Okay, I was like, I did buy red some at one point in my life, but I don't. I've never knit anything red, but I built you know for yourself. Yeah, and it's I do. It's gonna be good when it's together. I can't wait to see the color. The first color I'm gonna do is well, it's in this order. It's white, purple, blue is how I'm doing it. So pretty. I love yeah. it. I'm excited. So that's, I, I thought about it. Are you like, get to the color work. yeah, it'll go quick once you, uh, oh, yeah. I mean, oh, it, no. it, and then it's all it is, is literally stocking that the whole time. I, yeah, I was hoping to get the color work done for this, but it was just a crazy week. So yeah, but I'm going to knit tonight, this weekend. That's on my list of give back to Lori to do. That'll yeah. Be, you'll be happy wearing that this fall. I know. I'm excited. I'm or excited. Maybe about only in December, because am I am I hanging? By the way, hanging what? Am I like lagging? No, you weren't talking. No, I didn't notice. You your screen seemed normal. Yeah, you weren't frozen. Okay. Are you having problems with us? Oh, there she goes. Yeah, you just did. She's, yeah. <laughs> no problem. Right, so Sophia's back. Dude. Hold on. Oh, Tennis now Julie's Canada. frozen. I'm frozen. Oh no. <laughs> and I hope I didn't look creepy. Well, we're going to oh, cut Julie, you froze. Story. Okay, am I okay now? Are we all good? Yeah, you're good now, but you did all freeze. Right. So, okay, warning. Just, my internet connection is unstable. All That's right, what mother better. said. It kept saying that to me. Okay, so Lori says I have to start this over. Yeah. Okay. Make it quick. So, yeah, okay. All right, I am working on the mare shawl. <gasps> you did so much! Yeah, I'm almost done. <gasps> the smaller Beautiful. So you I'm animal! Very soon. I love it. Yeah, I'm excited. I love those colors. I love it! So, um, I don't know if you guys saw, but the Caddy Jacks podcast, <laughs> our special guest, and um, Debbie, she had all these shawls, and it was so inspiring, and this was one of hers. So I, I love that shawl. brought me up to Webb's a couple weeks ago. They have their summer yarn sale. And I got, this is Cloud Nine Fibers yarn. Have you guys ever worked with that? No. It's, oh, I think so. I'm so inspired. It's so pretty. It's wool, 80% wool, 20% silk. It's not super wash. And this actually, this color they call begonia as well. And then this is linen closet. They're like little honeycombs. Yeah, isn't it pretty? Yes. So I'm almost done. It's it's a pico bind off, so that's gonna take a while, right? Oh. Yeah, you could yeah. skip it. Put some tassels. Hmm. You think so? <laughs> Will you it take? Could. Oh, I forget. I've only I done it once I before. Like pico. I you do? Nice. It is pretty. It's not that bad, really. All right, it'll just take a while. I've come this far though. I like it. I like it. Can't wait. I can't believe how much you've got done. Yeah. So this actually has brought me back to like loving, enjoying. Yes. To enjoying knitting. Like got me excited. I think for a change, I may have been the only one that was knitting, right? Yeah. Usually I'm not the one knitting. Yep. Um, <laughs> this summer and you guys were like, I can't knit a thing. Yeah. And I'm like, man, this is crazy. I know. You held it together for us, right? Trying. <laughs> All right. Everybody gets a turn sometime. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But I think okay. that's well, all I have. Is that for what about acquisitions? Did oh, we have yeah, some Oh, we got acquisitions going on. Okay. Okay, Here, go. Go, go, Sophia, go. Okay. So, Pearl Soho had a big sale. 
Mm. And I did not buy anything during this COVID period. You guys all bought yarn and I sat watching, clapping, and I just, you know, I, I just went, I just bought yarn. I bought stuff because I don't know. So this is the first thing. <gasps> oh, that's right. I remember. Oh, it's beautiful. I didn't think it was going to be as big as this. It's awesome. But this is, um, it's called a paper bag. And it's the Japanese. You see that? I'm not going to mm -hmm. touch it now. Yeah. Okay. Usha mom. Ush yeah, yeah, it's like never a mind. full paper bag. And it literally is made out of paper. It's so cool. And of oh, course, wow. I love that it's gold. Yeah. But it's fun. It's just like, you know. Does it open all the way up? Yeah, it does. It opens all the way up and you can fold it down. So it takes some doing, but and yeah. it, it feels sturdy. It feels sturdy. I mean, it's like, you know. It's so interesting. Well, it's, so what is, is it just to be like a bucket to sit next to you while you knit? Yeah. So, I love oh. it. So I think really what it's all about is that it's made of kind of this thick, sturdy paper that it's lined in golden and it's kind of bling blingy. And that's really about it. There's nothing else fancy about it. It's unique. Love it. It's pretty. I, I, like, I it. like it. I do like it. And then I also bought this pouch. Oh my God. Oh. Love it. And this is from Skyclad Quilts on Etsy. And the reason I bought it was I saw um, the inside lining fabric and I had to have it. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh. There's like tigers and cats or yeah. cats? Tigers. Oh, they're like, like the tigers. Tiger kitties. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, so you can look her up on Etsy. She's not a knitter, but she makes these beautiful quilts. And I think I discovered her through my new uh, stunted quilting off and on, fits and starts. But it has brought me joy. But I have no quilting to show. So I did have this. And then I purchased um, from our favorite... Buzz family. Oh, that's right. Yes. And you guys, I bought like every color thinking, okay, we need to talk about this just for a minute. I know what I'm going to say to you. Yeah, no, it was, I started, I knit, I was almost ready to split for sleeves, you guys. And this is really pretty in theory, but wow, no, it's not. I mean, not that the yarn isn't pretty, and oh my gosh, Buzz Family, beautiful, and the yarn is gorgeous, um, and I posted on Instagram, so if any of you viewers um, don't know what I'm talking about, I got super excited, it was an impulse buy, I bought all of these, I had my birthday, I had a little bit of birthday. They are awesome together, you just didn't like it for you, you thought it was too young. Well, I thought it was like 1980 bad. Oh, okay. I don't think so. You know what I, I was going to say to you, and I think we'll solve that problem, is you alternated with white. If you had done just white as his own color or not put the white in at all. I also think um, thicker stripes. Bigger stripes. Okay. Tell me, Julie. And yeah. I didn't need the yellow, so I left that out, and I had this yeah. all going on. It doesn't I need the yellow. I like the greens with the, what did I say? I said I like the greens together. I yeah. forgot. With the white, maybe. I forget. But I think they can't, you know, I love all those colors together. So maybe you just have to play around, like, do I need a gray? Yeah. Do I need a black? Like my shirt? I mean, do I need to eliminate. My daughter was like, eliminate. Oh, gray would be good. See, I would eliminate the other pink and keep that, the other one. Personally? Yeah. Personally, I like the darker pink. I but love the darker pink. Like, this is. Do you have to. Does it have, so this is why I think you should do thicker stripes. Like, does it have to be, we're alternating stripes? Like, why don't you do stripe of each solid color? That's what I'm saying. So I, I don't, so say don't go back and forth. Yeah. I think, cause you had color white, color white, color white. I think if you had just not done the white every other and it was yeah. just colors mm -hmm. or, and, or not use the white at all, like you could do the white as its own stripe or not do it at all. Julie, do you think you could, would it be too much to ask you to insert a picture of that craziness? Oh, that's that easy. Yeah. Maybe we can show our viewers and because yeah. I obviously yeah. frogged it. Um, 
and then got frustrated. And this is not the fault of our beautiful dyer. Fuzzy. No. Oh my God, no. Oh, I'm jealous. Um, I love the Look at those together. Look at the pink and, oh my God. That's the same. I mean, I, if you just didn't alternate the white in between and just made white its own stripe. Yeah, and this is actually like a pale baby, baby pink. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So we, I put it aside and also, you know what happened? Also the weather got a little cooler. And I'm like, what am I doing with these colors? I would still wear it. What are you talking oh, about? Okay. Uh -huh. I don't know what is, maybe COVID, I don't know. I feel so affected by the weather and colors and like, I don't know what. I can't explain. And I'm in a rut and, but anyway, I'm so happy. And the customer service on Fuzz Family Yarns, you guys, 10 out of 10. Yeah, she's so good. Awesome. Kristen the dye are so, so good. And um, this yarn is alpaca and silk. And it's like, oh, it's good. Yeah, it's good. So something will be made. Whether even I buy a handful of a gray or something, we'll figure it out. Well, if you really are feeling at a loss, I'll gladly take it all. <laughs> I know. Yeah, same. Colors. <laughs> right? So, um, so there you go. And uh, those are my acquisitions. Love it. Awesome. Okay. I have some. So, so, okay, so we've done FOs. We've done whips. Are we done with acquisitions or at least? No, I have some. Oh, okay. Okay. okay so um, as you know, well, as you know, we're going to, I'm just going to remind everybody. We normally go to the village wool, uh, fill a bag. Yes. Um, which they don't, they didn't have this year because um, COVID. So they did a month long, I think it was like about a month long, where it was 25% off everything in the store, including needles and everything. So I went with my sister and I wasn't really needing yarn. I mean, I don't need yarn. We all know this. And I was like, yeah, I'll go with you. Why not? So I went with her and um, I didn't actually buy anything off 25%, but I did buy Shibui. It was, this was 75% off or 70 off because they were, I think the, um, the color and maybe even the um, drift, I think might be discontinued. But so I have. We're just continuing that, 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 that line of yarn. Either that or the colors. I don't know. I think it's the line, but. Two, four, I love that line. So I got eight skeins. This is, um, it's 85 extra fine merino, 15 cashmere. Um, what is the color? No, I think. I'm jealous. I know. Oh, color is brownstone. It is so soft. I'm um, telling you, and if you continue that, I'll be depressed. Because that is, I love that combo. And it's a worsted. Mm -hmm. it's so good. How much a skein did you pay? I'm how much kidding. did I pay per skein? Got my receipt right here. Um, Wiring mine. I, I paid. Hold on. Yeah. They're normally like 26, she did this. Right? 24. Yeah. It's normally, like 24? it was 21. Oh, 21.50. 2160 that's how they had it there so i think 584 what wait like, how did you not text us this i think they bought them all i did I, well did. so my total was 5513 for a sweater of this stuff that's normally 2160 yeah that's really great because nor i always get it i always buy that whenever i'm for the 50 percent and i get it for you know ten dollars a skein i still i buy 10 skeins for a sweater to make sure i'm good it's still a hundred bucks you're spending yep we got almost what i buy for half you know it's like wow unreal awesome so so i bought i don't know exactly what i'm gonna make yet and i'm not really worried about that i mean we don't always have to buy yarn with a pattern in mind so um, so that's that. So then my sister sends me this Instagram post about this dyer doing this like mystery Sailor Moon dye skein thing. And I'm like, I have to do it. So, um, so if you don't know, I love Sailor Moon. And who's that would be why my email is, you know, my know. username. I love Sailor Moon. So I was like, you know Julie what? Julie doesn't know who Sailor Moon is. Oh, it's an uh, anime. She's I like, remember like, you telling me this. Yeah, maybe she's I'll... so. She's so cute. She, she is. So she's got cute. these two blonde balls and then long hair. 
Well, I'm sorry, I'm looking for, oh, sorry. I was just looking for a sticker because she said a sticker. So this is- If I can buy Sheena. I'll find a picture. Okay, good. Sheena from Casual Fashion Queen out of Florida. And so I got it the other day. I mean, and like, like I said, this is one of those, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this and I really don't care. Oh, that's pretty. Wow. Is that supposed to be Sailor Moon? That's the Sailor Moon? It's not Sailor Moon. It's just like inspired by Sailor Moon. So she sent me a sticker of Sailor Venus. And I don't know if Sailor Venus is the... Yeah, they are Sailor Moon. It's too beautiful. <laughs> but what like, show is she on or whatever? What? She's on a show? It's called Sailor Moon. Yeah. Um, like she's an old anime character. It's an old. It's an old yeah. one. Yeah. 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 But so, yeah. So I was like, you know what? I don't normally do a mystery thing, um, but I think I'm going to try to make this, um, find other yarns to go with this to make that um, Stephen West pattern. Um, I think it's upstairs. Um, that new one that he has, I, I, uh, I got, let me pull it up real quick. I have to get, I think five, four or five other colors. Excuse me. And why do I feel like it's called Raven or something? Sound right at all? <laughs> but oh, um, bless you. I should have been prepared for this because I didn't really prepare to say, "Oh, here it is. I found it." Lava Lake. It's this big shawl. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh well, right, really, right, 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 right. Really pretty. So yeah. I think that I want to do. Why did it get all dark? Anyway, um, I think I want to try to like find something to go with this, which is like blues. Oh, it's blues. There's a shock. Well, you could do like an ombre with blues and grays. That would be really or like, cool. yeah, I can bring it because it's got like some teal and it even has like a little like pinkish. So I can, you know, see if I can find some yarn that kind of like transitions some black. Yeah. So this is the first time I've ever purchased yarn from her. Um, and it's very nice. It's um, it's a superwash merino, fingering four hundred ninety yards. Awesome! Wow, four hundred ninety. Yeah. So those are my acquisitions. Love it. All right. So we have any other acquisitions? No. No. Okay. So what about? Do we have uh, like a book or media or TV show or product? I have Maybe a show I've been watching. Quick if we have one or the other to add to uh, talk about. Yeah, I have a show I've been watching. Okay, tell me. Cobra Kai. All day. I've been long. watching it too. I started it. Yeah, did you? My have you? With Logan and he was like. Yeah, because he they ha you have to have this connection to Karate Kid. Yeah. It's yep. got to be part of, and, and and it's not even just like you've watched the movie. Like you know, part of the whole thing about Karate Kid is not like okay it's like you watch the movie. It is our jam. It's like our childhood. You know what I mean? And, and like, it's, it's like watching any classic from the like Goonies or anything, you know, any of those. And so when you watch it, there's all these throwbacks to the show and then they kind of put it still in the eighties kind of cheesiness that it is. And then the, the humor is actually funny. Like Johnny, like the Cobra Kai, like from the bad guy from the original movies, like he's so like outdated now. But he, he, like, he says things that are so like 80s kind of stuff, which is really not acceptable at all. Kind of a little sad also. Yeah, but not totally sad because I feel like he's, like, he's, I don't know. I, we're hooked. We're hooked. Oh, yeah. I, I don't have many more episodes to watch in the second season, so. Season three is coming out in 2021. Awesome. Okay. So that's my show. Tim, actually, Tim and I have been watching it together, so. I've been watching a lot of shows, but I'm not going to mention them all because there's way too many. Yeah. Yeah. Love on the spectrum. I ended up watching that like you said, Elisa, too. Yeah. Was Wasn't it so good? Oh my gosh. I was in love with all those kids. So Michael. Love Michael. Love him. <laughs> love him. Like I want to be their friends. Like, I mean, I just wanna I watched actually episode one over again because I love Michael so much. Right. But what about you guys? Right, Sophia, you wanna do you have sorry I had to plug in? Oh, my... One second. Right here. Oh, okay. Just Bye. Bye. All right, I'll go just go quick. Okay, so I had a great summer reading. This is the last thing I read. It's um, Breath, so it's nonfiction. Very informative, but like really fun to read as well. Did so, you also go to the library? Some, yeah, I love the library. Sum it up, 
Breathe through your nose, people. Don't breathe through your mouth. Second thing, quick, out of pure coincidence, and this is my favorite book of the summer. Sophia and I both, I actually did audiobooks. Sophia does. I did too. Of The Dutch House by yes. Anne Pitchett. It was my favorite for the whole summer. Me too. <laughs> and so I was excited at the same time. Out yeah, of I was excited to tell Julie about it. I was like, oh my gosh, I've got this book. I listened to it, and Tom Hanks narrates yeah. it, which I yeah. think makes it so special. Yep. Um, because he's like acting as he's reading. I don't know, it's so hard to explain, but he's an excellent narrator. And I was so excited to tell Julie about it. And she was excited to tell me about it, which was kind of funny. Yep, that is. So highly well, I think when you get a narrator that's familiar, the voice is familiar and you like them. Like that's like when I listened to the Michelle Obama book, like it was so much better because she read it. You know? oh, I was just going to ask if she did. Oh yeah, she does. Okay, but Sophia, what did you go get? Okay. Harry Potter. I've been enjoying this. It's a reread, obviously, but uh, we bought the illustrated version. And let me tell you, the pictures in here are so, so pretty. And it's not abridged. The artwork's like just oh, wow. amazing. So, like, it's just like, like it's, the, it's the book, but with illustrations? Yeah. Wow. And can you get all of them? Can you turn a page and show them? Is it like every page you have a picture? Or like... It, some okay. Stuff. Oh, but it's like, a, like a bigger font. It feels like it could be like a whole different it, experience. It is. It is. It, and it's not abridged. It's the full book, and that's oh, fun. Very cool. And it's it's beautiful, and it it smells good, and it's got even a fun like little red bookmark. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks beautiful. How much? How much was that book? I don't recall. Does it I say on the back? It should say it. Does it say it anywhere on the inside? On the she inside? may not have paid the same amount. Well, whatever. Whatever it's listed it's for. It's thirty nine ninety nine, but I don't. Oh. I think I got it off of Amazon. Well, whatever. Um, but but we are we are really wanting to buy all know? of them. Yes, yes, and so um, I bought it for actually one of my daughters, and then I was just like, oh my gosh, it's so. Look at this one. It's so beautiful. That's cool. I was I have never read the Harry Potter books. Me either. Wait, I've watched. Wait, I've never read any of those. Wait, we what? have we have them. Yeah, you know why? Because I we I watched the first two movies. I watched them. Tim hadn't. And Tim was like, I want to read the book. So we have the whole series, like the whole set. And he read them. And then after that, he wouldn't watch the next one until he had read the book but i'd already watched the first two and i couldn't it's like i can't read a book after i've watched the movie or i can't sometimes watch the movie after read the book it's like it kind of ruined the reading for me like even though i wanted to read them and i i it's one of my biggest like hang-ups about those that series because i really wish i could have i could say i've read them but now you also yeah you also feel that way <laughs> no go ahead so. <laughs> I cannot stand the movies of Harry Potter. I hate to say it. I, I know I'm probably in the minority, maybe because I've read the series multiple times and I've audiobooked it, I think twice. And now I'm starting again with the illustrated version. See, and it's just- It's so much more detailed. Like when I read the books, I'm like, it's like, it's, like it's changing the story for me. And I, so it's what's yes. hard about it for me. And. I know this may sound silly, but I have trouble imagining um, fantasy stuff in my head. I, I just struggle with that. I, it's, a, it's weird, I know, but I do. And having these illustrations, so, so cool. Yeah, hopefully we'll be back again soon. Yeah, well, we were really hoping, I think we were in a place where we could potentially be together yes. for, uh, for a podcasts I mean we would maybe wear our masks for that it, depending on the time because now that school started again like that's a little concern for me but but um but yeah I'm worried that we're gonna run out we're not gonna be able to do it before if and if when things maybe return I don't know like his numbers no, don't starting. say it <laughs> I know but I live near Yukon and it's they're kind of it's happening yeah yeah I know and so I don't know. I'm worried that this might be stuck where we're stuck. I a can't, longer. It, but I get it. 
La 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's a bummer we didn't get one in because we we could have like maybe could have, but then it got crazy again, and then now it's like school where it's really crazy again. So it was it was very difficult just to find a time to get together. So I know, and this but, almost still didn't happen tonight. All right. Right. Yes. I'm yes. Sorry. We better. Oh, no, not you. It's just it's crazy. So anyway, so my point is, fingers crossed, we do something soon. But well, we should probably get yes. going, right? Yeah. Bye, everyone. Thank you for watching. Hit yes, subscribe. Bye. <laughs> Bye, ladies. Miss you. Bye. Bye.